でもまず先に水を飲まないと。What's up, guys? Um, today I'm just doing a quick tutorial trying to show you how I kind of do my rendering、um, to get better quality out of my edits and stuff. And、uh, this works with any kind of edit, I do it for all my edits、uh, for cartoon edits, anime edits. I do this method with each and every one of the edits or anything I use, anything I do in After Effects. Um, but before I continue, I'd just like to let you all know that I got this idea from my editing friend Excalibur. You should check him out on his Instagram. But um, yeah, um, I'll show you just how I do that. So here I have my little, I just made like a, like a quick edit. I might post it, I might not, but I just made a quick edit for this tutorial. So basically, you can either hit Ctrl M to open your render queue. Or you can go up to up here to composition and then scroll down to not add to media, not add to Adobe Media Encoder, but just add to render queue. Then you hit that, then you'll see it right here. And then choose the location you want to have. What am I going to name this?、Um, let's name it Historia. Whoa, Historia Edit. Save. And we'll move over to here, the output module. Hit the high quality. And then instead of doing this in QuickTime, we'll render this in AVI. And then hit OK. And then we、we'll、go over to render. Now, obviously, I'm gonna cut to when this is done, and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. So, yeah, that's finished.、Um, go ahead and just minimize your After Effects real quick. Open up Media Encoder. Go find where you put your edit. Put all mine around here. What did I name it again?、Uh, oh, History Edit. You just drag and drop onto your Media Encoder. There, you can rename that just so you know which one's the MP4 file. Render that. Once that renders, you can go ahead and delete the AVI file because normally in AVI file, they're really big files so. But when you render it as an AVI file, normally what it does, it keeps the quality. And, but unfortunately, like you can see, it's like four, four gigabytes, which is insane for like 25 seconds. So that's why I throw it into Media Encoder so that it can compress it into a smaller MP4 file, which is like 30 M MBs. And you can just go ahead and delete your AVI file. And you should be good from there. And that's how I normally maintain the good quality in my edits. So that's just about it.、Um, if you have any other questions or want me to make any other tutorials, just、uh, throw it down in the comments. Let me know. And I'll see what I can do. And thanks for watching.、Uh, hopefully, this、uh, tutorial helped. And I hope you guys have a great day.